Hey, thank you for joining me once again in Chaplain's Corner. So glad that you're here. I'm definitely a creature of habit. I mean, I set routines for myself and I like it when my life settles into some predictable patterns. But that's not always a good thing. And so I'm glad that I have a job that is often very unpredictable. I mean, I never know when my phone is going to ring, who will be on the other end, or what kind of situation they're going to need help with. And I need this kind of uncertainty so that I don't get too set in my ways. After all, there's a very fine line between a routine and a rut. And as American novelist Ellen Glasgow once said, the only difference between a rut and a grave are the dimensions. So this week and next, I'd like to offer some practical suggestions for getting unstuck from a rut. First, you have to stop doing whatever you got stuck, got you stuck to begin with. You've probably heard the definition of insanity as doing the same thing over and over, but expecting different results. And yet we all do that in some way. If you feel stuck, start by breaking the cycle of doing sticky things. Second, you need to take responsibility. It's easy to blame other people or even the circumstances of life when you find yourself in a rut. But the reality is that many of your own choices got you into whatever situation you're in. Don't make excuses or you won't be able to grow. Third, you should look for patterns. For example, if you seem to keep failing at the same things like relationships or jobs time and time again, consider all the factors that contribute to those failures. You should also consider that one possible culprit is you. We'll have more next week, but this will hopefully get you started. Until then, as always, if I can help with this or anything else that's going on for you, you can reach me by email or by calling me absolutely any time. Be well.